Okay, now I want to quickly show you about connecting to Prometheus node exporters. So Prometheus is another monitoring tool that is popular. And what you do, you set up Prometheus node exporters on various servers, a bit like Zabbix agents. So I could have many servers and on each of those, I'd install a Prometheus node exporter and that would be similar to a Zabbix agent running in passive mode. So you can query those and they return a response through an HTTP endpoint. Now, normally with node exporters, you would install a server component called Prometheus, and that would be your user interface to read and query the data from all the different node exporters that you have on all your servers. So in some ways, very similar to having a Zabbix server with many Zabbix agents, but commonly people also use Grafana as a visualization tool over top of Prometheus. Now, Zabbix can also read the data from a Prometheus node exporter. So if you do have Prometheus node exporters on your network, you can actually set them up straight away and read them through Zabbix server. So on Zabbix server, you set up a template and you configure it with the addresses of the Prometheus node exporters and you can visualize those in Zabbix and you get triggers and you can create alerts using your existing Zabbix server. So you don't actually need Prometheus or Grafana to read data from Prometheus node exporters. So in this video, I'll show you how to quickly install a Prometheus node exporter and we'll set it up in Zabbix. I can use any server I like. Prometheus node exporters are written for many operating systems. I'm going to use host A. So I'm going to install a node exporter on host A. Okay, I've SSH'd onto my host A and I'm going to install the Prometheus node exporter. So sudo apt install Prometheus node exporter. Like so. Yes. Okay, let's check a status. Okay, so it's active running. So what it's doing is returning a whole lot of statistics about your server on a HTTP endpoint at port 9100. So in some ways, like I say, it's very similar to a Zabbix agent running in passive mode or even an SNMP daemon. So it's returning a whole lot of statistics, which are just pretty much the same kind of thing about the CPU, memory, disks, etc. One thing that you can do to query that that endpoint works from your server is you can type curl HTTP. 127.0.0.1 colon 9100 slash metrics. There we go. There's a response on the service running locally. Lots of information in there. Anyway, we can read that in Zabbix. Now, my host A is likely to have port 9100 blocked. So I'm going to need to allow that from my Zabbix server. So just quickly, I'll check that on the perspective of my Zabbix server. Okay, so I'm on my Zabbix server. I'm going to do that curl test. Curl HTTP. The IP address of my host A from the perspective of my Zabbix server is that one there, 1013303 colon 9100 slash metrics. And that's just going to time out. So I'm going to fix it up in the firewall. Control C. Okay, so I'm on DigitalOcean where I manage my firewalls, host A firewall. I'm going to create a new rule, custom 9100. I'm going to allow my Zabbix server. To query, save. Okay, let's just try that again. And there's a response. So my Zabbix server is able to query the one Prometheus node exporter that I've just installed. But I could have had many. But anyway, let's set that up in Zabbix. Okay, so configuration hosts. Let's create a new host. I'm going to call it host a Prometheus node exporter groups Linux servers. Okay, so now to set up an interface, we don't have one for Prometheus, but we should use agent because we need to put in the IP address of where it's going to make the request to. And that was 10.1330.3 from the perspective of my Zabbix server. We can ignore the port, even though we're setting up an interface for a Zabbix agent, it's just going to use that IP address to find the Prometheus node exporter. So that's really all we need, or if you're using DNS name. Anyway, of course, if you're monitoring this behind a proxy, you would set up your proxy like we've done for other examples in the past. But this host A is actually on the same network as my Zabbix server, so that's all I need. Okay, so add that. Okay, so I have a new Prometheus node exporter host there. I have my existing host A still running in the background. It doesn't really matter. I can disable that if I wanted to. I actually set that up as SNMP, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, next we'll assign a template. So go back into it and let's just assign a template there. So operating systems, Linux by prom, that one there. Okay, so select that, Linux by prom and update. Okay, so there are 34 items now. Now, most of these are dependent items. 
and they all depend on one item here, the get node exporter metrics. So if we look at that, it's a HTTP agent type of item. It's making a request to HTTP host connection, which was that IP address I just typed, and the node exporter port, which by default is port 9100 slash metrics. Okay, we can see what node exporter port equals. If we go into the macros of the template and inherited and host macros, if I scroll down, there it is, node exporter port is port 9100. You can change that if you ever needed to. Okay, so cancel that, go back into items. Also, because this is running like a passive check, we can trigger this item now just by ticking it and saying execute now. Okay, so request sent successfully. We go to monitoring later starter and I'll just filter by that host. Linux servers, the Prometheus node exporter. Apply. There we go. We have some data coming through that is coming via the Prometheus node exporter. Okay, so very good. If we look at monitoring hosts and look at that there, we have latest data problems, graphs. Okay, so quite a few graphs. Let's look at that for five minutes. Okay, so it's just begun. So it looks a lot like the SNMP daemon response or the Zabbix agent running in passive mode. You may like to use Prometheus node exporters instead of Zabbix agents or SNMP. Let's see what dashboard there is. Two dashboards, network interfaces. Okay, so it's, once again, it's just begun. And system performance. Okay, five minutes. It's quite a lot there. Okay, so anyway, that's an option for you if you want. I personally prefer to use Zabbix agents with active items, but you can use Prometheus node exporters if you like. Also with this host here, Prometheus node exporter, you might be tempted to assign multiple templates. For example, you have the Linux by prom, you might decide that since you have an interface for the agent, you might want to install the agent template as well, Linux by Zabbix agent. This won't work because there will be duplicate items. So we can just press update to see that error. Okay, so system name and system name cannot populate one host inventory field leads to a conflict. So use either Linux by prom if you have Prometheus node exporter or Zabbix agent if you have Zabbix agent running on it. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, so looking at that diagram again, you might have Prometheus node exporters on your network. You might have a Prometheus server. And you might have a Grafana server connected to the Prometheus server. You can now install a Zabbix server and you can connect that directly to all your Prometheus node exporters, regardless of whether you have Prometheus and Grafana or not. So you've got independent systems, excellent.